sales talent is essential for the growth of any business. With the changes introduced through a global pandemic, some organizations have struggled while others have thrived. Regardless, there will always be a need for top sales talent. How might your needs have changed over the past year? Many sales leaders rely on their gut instinct for those who can drive revenue. You might think to yourself, I just totally hit it off with this person. They were likable, personable, and really they could go drink for drink with me, so we hired them. But those skills might not get you very far today. The charismatic, smooth-talking sales professionals used to be able to overcome many deficiencies. Their personalities compensated for a potential lack of preparation, process, and even professionalism. Not anymore. Today's top performers demonstrate empathy. They ask great questions. They follow a defined process that puts them on the same side that helps them work collaboratively with their clients to make decisions together. Ironically, the same attributes were often the characteristics that proved to be most successful in the past, even if those weren't the folks closing down the bar at the annual President's Club retreat. In fact, they were the ones who used to think, I don't understand how Pat does it. I've never seen Pat as a stereotypical salesperson, but clients rave about how much they rely on Pat. See, Pat is seen as a subject matter expert, and when you're trying to figure out how to solve an important issue, that's what you as a client need. The stereotypical backslapping salesperson might be the person to take you out for golf, drinks, and a boisterous evening, but Pat is the person you want when you have a real need. When hiring today, here are some great questions to uncover the right candidates. First one, tell me about a deal that you should have won, but you lost. What happened? Or what's the biggest change for your clients from a year ago to today? Or how would you go about meeting your sales goals today differently than from a year ago? What would prevent you from succeeding? In each question, you're listening for empathy and a sense of personal responsibility. See, I want candidates who understand how things have changed and have internalized those issues. If they make excuses or blame others, rest assured, this isn't the last time you'll hear a great excuse. For example, here are two potential responses to the same question. First, well, we had a deal that was great, then when COVID hit, the deal died, and there's nothing we could do about it. The second answer to the same scenario, we had a great deal and when COVID hit, we lost their attention. We didn't help them see that all of their priorities that they had really should have made our stuff a top priority. Instead, we lost the sale and the client struggled without our solution. We learned some better questions to ask in the future to shift the priority for clients like that. Hire the second one and pass on the first one. 